everybody, my name is the Mango Marauder. This is Monster Sanctuary. <sighs> it's good to finally be able to play this. I backed it on Kickstarter. They don't have uh, the supporter area in the credits yet. So we'll go ahead and skip through these really quickly to show you that. Uh, I don't know about Team 17, but I've been keeping up with the developers via their uh, project updates on Kickstarter. And it's been very good to see this game progress. And plus I was in the uh, Discord server. There's no none of the uh, Kickstarter supporters in the credits yet, but this is also in early access, so we'll leave that as it is. Go here, and we'll go with my uh, username, we'll go. I am playing with a gamepad, I normally do not play with a gamepad. There we go. Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Most of the people of Monster Sanctuary live in people's stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. I always liked going Earth and Pokemon. But I like that ego. Go with the toad. Yeah, toad. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of the bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. It's just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline's familiars bears the form of a spectral toad. Name your familiar. I could use the uh, ER, but we're gonna have that to match my name in a way. Calder. I think the only reason I'm helping you is to bond myself with your family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your monsters. They will go alongside you, just as I will. They will fight for you. The best way to get a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those one's eggs. Look at the blob over there. It is here to fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. Let us say the jump. How much else do it? Boom. Now you can choose your team. Start combat. Uh. Four times 40%, 160% magical damage, earth. Do the bubble burst. <laughs> Looks like that's the best thing to do. <laughs> the ad was. Oh, 
we just keep doing that again, that's the highest damage we're gonna use. score. <laughs> Probably should have done some overkill there. Blobbeg. Small potion. There we go, you received a Blobbeg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Yes. Blobbeg. Eh, hatch the Blob. Lobby, why not? <laughs> not original. I am not original. That is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now it is weak, so you will need to train it. But there is much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the keeper's trail. We need us to go to the bureau of an old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance. I advise you listen to him very carefully. Well, thank you, Calder. Start combat. Ah, so we can heal with that. That's good. Got no king bolt to attack on him. Kill the other one, and in the meantime, we can deal with we can kill him, deal with the other one. You don't have to worry about health now. on it. And we'll do that for overkill. Hey, yeah, that was better. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you had a rating of one to five stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like mad butt strikes. Yes, of course. Well, thank you, Calder. God, it's gonna be an annoying voice if I do it all day. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper Trail's beginning for all of man, beast, and sanctuary has begun. Why, thank you. Who the hell are you? Magma Pillar and Rocky. Alright. He'll take more damage. I would imagine, yeah, that'll just kill him. That is not good to see. Not that it thing like that looks like a plant would get hurt that much from water. But I suppose it has its resistances. gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. Well, this allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Yours, for example. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh. That's actually pretty cool. Men are rating by one. Ah. Uh, do that. 
poison glands. Then can we hatch that? Will not hurt to have a magma pillar. Let us name you Magma. Oh, and you have a skill point. Oh shit. Hi. Um. Oh, I don't know that yet. I'm going to learn it. Thought I already did. No, I was like, where isn't it? Available to upgrade. It would be my own fault. Not knowing, wouldn't it? Kestus. This will equip you with that, right? And we can give Magma the... I guess we already have a wooden stick on you, then. Hey! Hey, fellow Keeper! You know every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability. Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might want to encounter some destructible walls, like the one behind me. Go in and try and hit some with your monster's abilities. Oh yeah, cool! Thanks! Wow! That's amazing, a vital ring! Sorry. <laughs> oh. Hey, friend, you're just standing as a monster keeper, right? Do you find some equipment for your monsters already? You, you can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. I could not. Yeah, that's good for you. How do I get up there, though? Well, that's a question. I wonder what's... Almost. Not sure. It's... Okay, well, who cares? Like you'll take the most damage from it. Because I don't even know what you do. May as well, I uh, taking out one certainly will not be oh well, probably shouldn't have, because he takes a shit ton of damage from mud cannon. Whoopsies! I should have taken that thing down ahead of time. Oh yeah, I should have. I'm a bloody buffoon. Bye bye, little bird. That's such a Weird sound effect, I really don't like it. Go ahead and heal yourself up. Stars, eh. Got some copper. See what we can do with our little slimy boy. Uh. Cool. Fine, that's even more, but I think I should improve my magic rating first, then work down that. Or at least the slime, that is. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Nice little poems. A bracelet. I'll give that to you, Calder. But 
do. No, go back up. No, go on, loot defense. Leave that too blubby. Right, the keeper's dog, left the keeper's trail. We was down. A chest and copper, very nice. This is the path to the keeper's trail. Okay, is it all Buren? Buren, Buren, whatever you want to call him. Come on. There we go, we got all three on the screen. Ignite you. And then mud cannon you. You'll die from the fire. Booyah. Now they're also going to do some increased damage, they're doing the beating, which got a critical land, we need to heal up our little magma. I still do not like that sound effect. Ugh. Oh, well, that's a lot of damage. Here. They're gone. Four stars. Ah, no egg. That's a shame. Men know the use of weight in the woods and caverns beyond. Yet for the treasure within he longed, for the greed of kings was great. What are you telling me I want that chest so bad when you're hung up here? No thanks. There we go, we got all three on the screen. Makes it quicker that way. Yeah. 
He's not taking a lot of damage. Holy shit, he's tough. Okay. Focus on him first. Love you, tackle. That's plenty of damage. Oh, that hurts magma. That hurts magma bad. We need to heal magma up now. We could really hurt him. Plenty of debuffs. But it overwrites it. Fuck. No, it doesn't. Okay, it does not. Okay. Yeah, it does do more damage. on him. Take him out of the picture. Ignite you for the extra damage. And tackle you to make sure you die. Oh! That hurt him. All our damage. Five turns that time, not as good. We did get a vital ring and our little spluffy leveled up. Water armor break debuff. Or I could actually make it so we can damage people properly. Poison! No, we're doing that. More debuffs is better. I love debuffing people. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Man plunged into deepest abyss, foraged, attacked, and slew. These endeavors were without solace, the cost of humanity nobody knew. That's a rather sad story. I would guess that, uh, it's... I don't think I can, can I? Yeah, I don't know how to change him. I would guess it's later in the game you can do that. So I would figure Magma would be able to burn those down. It's not gonna be good. <sighs> Bubble burst you. I'm gonna ignite you just for the debuff. Glad we got that early damage in. That's not good. Oh, they're all... Okay. They're all dealing with that now. Go ahead and take you down. I don't have enough for bubble burst. Shit. 69 out of 70. Fuck. Ugh. May not do as much, but it also debuffs them, so be worth it in the long term. Yeah, 24. Make sure he stays debuffed. 
Hit him hard. And ignite. They should both be gone. Poisoned and burning. Yep. Four stars. Blue gem. Ah, but no one left love from loud. That's a shame. Wonder if I'm going the right way. Crit ring. You take more damage from it. No reason not to, then. Mud curtain too. Ha <laughs> ha! You poor thing. We'll do that. Glad we did a barrier. Hmm. Focus on him now. Front move slime. Make sure he passes. Oh yeah, it was, didn't matter. Increase damage. He got poisoned. Good. We can focus on poisoning the other one then. Tackle the first, and also ignite the first. Shit. Not a good target for him to do that to, though. That's good. Buffed, he's going down. We need to ignite the back one and do the most damage we can to them. First one down, second one not. Then he's using himself pointless, but oh well. We're done here. Listen to the voices within, struck a wound to the realm's core. It's up this way, I wonder. Unless I'm incapable. No, I am. Okay, I thought I missed that for a second. Hey! Smoke bomb. Central, baby. Deep of Central. They heal every turn. That's not good. They hit him too often, too. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. There we go. 
go. Didn't have to worry about his heal. We had poison and fire on him. We'll make sure you are poisoned and burning, though. And apparently you take more damage from bubbles than you do from mud. Weird. Stars, still no egg, but they did level up, so I suppose it's worth it. More damage, very nice. I say that's worth it, and then flames, level 10 plus, I have to wait then. And we receive burn equal to 10%. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I take it this is the place? <sighs> I'd have to guess so. Well, if it is an old friend of mine. Hope you're a very old time no city. I'm not sure there's two. I need to change his voice. He just asked his first monsters. I thought you might teach him some lessons. Oh, so you're the new spectral keeper, eh? Folk called me old Piran. Of my mom at the end of the Keepers Trail, so I can teach all you great olds about your new duties as fully fledged monster keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you are worthy of the title. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say the outcome of the battle is decided before it begins. Since I'll raise those blobs myself, they're stronger than what you've seen so far. As you can see, the level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses and resistance of your enemies. Bob-lubs are weak to wind attacks. I don't have a wind attack. See if we can win this though. That is the question. <whistles> Drop right corner of the screen, that's the combo counter. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or heal to buff your allies. It will increase the damage of the following attacks. Combo counter resets after every turn. So make sense to always try out with your weaker defensive or assisted monsters first and use high hit count actions. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters out and later. Okay, so I want to use barrier or heal first and then ignite or damaging items or weapons. Tax. Makes sense. Focus the first one down. Ah, oh, that's a lot of healing. But we also had the barrier from the burn. Oh, fuck! Burn him, burn him, burn him! Not good. Heal level two. Oh god, we need to burn more of them so we get more damage reduction. Ow, 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 ow. I need to focus on healing. If I lose magma, it's over for me. Burn you so we get extra health. Try and take you down. They're running low on mana every time. Every damn time. There we go. Plenty of shields. We can take down the first one now. That's very good for us. We still get Ignite too. He's already like that. We should probably focus on you. Do that extra damage. Should have done barrier first, I really should have. Oh, and I, did, I thought I would take him down. Dang it. Oh. 
We're doing good though, we're, we're okay. Now it should go down. And go ahead and give us even more buff. Even more buffs. <laughs> it's in the bag now. What does more damage? It's literally the same, it doesn't matter. when we're done. I don't know. Uh, walk the Keeper's Trail and you defeat your one monsters. However, to become a monster Keeper proper, you will need to complete one more test. Your Keeper! This next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. And if there's skill points, use them now and use them wisely. I don't. But I will go ahead and... No, I guess I don't save and quit. I suppose. You show bravery, but this time you're not facing a normal monster. Am I facing that? Oh dear. That's not good. Whatever that thing is. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times in a turn. It is your job as monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fair that you beat one to become a member of the Order of Monster Keepers. Show me what you're made of. This is not going to go well, is it? Well, may as well start by burning it, right? <laughs> Get that uh, damage reduction for us. Twice, that's okay, we can deal with that. Okay, boat. Mud can leave everyone a barrier. Should have done that first, damn it. Screw it. We're doing a 
okay though. Oh, we need to heal him up now. Go on, Magma, get your health back. Gotta keep doing the major damage. Maximum health. Oh, that's major damage. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore, you are now a keeper aspiring. Nothing more is required of you. However, you should stay away and listen, won't you? As there are things going on in the sanctuary that, well, they trouble me. You see, monsters can't become as powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters besides them or a keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhance the skull in myself to make it stronger. Whenever I could control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated for most of the time. Recently, keep arranges have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Vera Mel from rangers who are stuck in the distant regions of the sanctuary, fighting against champions. If it weren't for my own bones, I'd go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I'll trap the champion in the caves this area. You take care of it if you feel up your task. None bad key. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Two apples, two potatoes. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Care for your monster, this one is vital if you tend to face more champion monsters. But the monster only profits from at least three food items I gave it. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. What the hell was his voice? Well then, you're a keeper aspiring now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to meet more champions. And who knows, maybe you would be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. We can't take care of that other champion right now. Or we can go back to the Keeper Struggle Force. The choice is yours. Now the choice is mine, however. I think that's been a nice look at Monster Keeper. A game I backed on Kickstarter. I've been very excited to see it prosper. And I gotta say, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out so far. So, I don't think I'll be doing another video on this. I'll be playing in my free time, yeah, but... It's just a guilty pleasure of mine, Pokemon, games like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye